Hi everyone, my name is Jude, and today I'm going to be talking about the Merceau Investigation, which is a novel written by Kamel Dawood. Um, it is a response to Albert Camus' novel, The Stranger. So who is Kamel Dawood? He's an Algerian writer and journalist, born in 1970. He studied French literature at the University of Oran. After graduating, he established himself as a journalist and became associated to the Algerian newspaper, La Quotidienne de Rennes, and contributes to their popular column, Rai na Raikum, which translates to my opinion, your opinion. This, news this newspaper is very popular in Algeria and it's actually um, written in French. Um, in 2013, he published his debut novel, The Merceau Investigation, which is the one that I'm going to be talking about today. So, The Merceau Investigation, in short, is a response to Albert Camus' novel, The Stranger. He retells the story from the perspective of the Arab victim's brother, Harun. In this novel, Dawood breathes life into the mute and nameless victim, and he was given the name Musa. So in, the, in Albert Camus' novel, um, there is uh, the main character, Merceau, who kills an Arab, and he was never given a name. So in this Algerian response, Kamel Dawood gives him a name, which is Musa, um, and it is written from his brother's perspective, who is called Harun. Um, and in this case, the name Musa is symbolic in a sense of uh, in, in a religious sense, since Musa the prophet, he was quote unquote, quote unquote killed, and then his father became obsessed with his death, neglecting his other siblings. Similarly, in this novel, um, when Musa was killed, the mother became obsessed with his death and neglected Harun, and Harun ended up living under his brother's shadow. So before delving deeper into the Merceau investigation, I'm going to be talking about Albert Camus briefly and summarize his novel, and then I'm going to go back to Camus Dawood. So first, who is Albert Camus? Camus was born in 1913. He is a Nobel Prize winning French novelist, essayist, and playwright. He was born in Algeria to French parents. The Stranger is one of his best known novels. It was published in 1942 during the Second World War. At that time, the, at the time when the novel was published, Algeria was colonized by France. So Camus is an interesting character and also very controversial in a sense that during the 1950s, his stance was somewhat gray uh, when it comes to the Algerian independence and revolution. So he tried to negotiate a settlement um, that kind of kept Algeria under colonization, but not clearly. So that disappointed his French colleagues, but and also disappointed his Algerian progressive friends. Um, and to many, like Edward Said, a post-colonial intellectual, this novel was um, a big no-no in terms of colonization and Eurocentricism and so on. So why is The Stranger worth retelling? And why did Kamel Dawood decide that he wants to give the Arab a voice. So The Stranger is an existentialist novel that reveals the life of an emotionally detached and absurd man, Merceau. He does not mourn his mother's death. He is extremely apathetic and kills a man he barely knows without any apparent motive, and then eventually blames it on the son. The victim throughout this novel is referred to as the Arab. This nameless Arab has no importance to Merceau or the authorities, and that who only prosecuted him for his detachment towards his mother's death. Um, so throughout this whole novel, um, he never mourns his mother's death. He was very detached to, um, uh, detached to it the day she died. And eventually he kills this Arab who was referred to 25 times in the novel. He's pretty much a main character, but he was never given a name. Um, and he had no importance to Merceau. He was just this other Arab that died, um, that was killed for no apparent motive, and it was fine. Um, and eventually when they did take Merceau to jail, um, he wasn't being punished for the Arab, for killing an Arab. He was being punished for not crying enough at his mother's funeral. So to them, his emotional detachment was worth punishing more than killing someone randomly on the street. So now I'm going to start talking about the Merceau investigation. Um, so this novel tells a story within a story about a story. Its protagonist, Harun, presents an extended monologue to an unnamed French student carrying the copy of The Stranger. Harun tells his own story while simultaneously commenting on Camus. And as the story unfolds, identities become increasingly blurred. He makes it seem like every other character in the novel is an investigator, whether it was his mother or actual authorities. So um, it's confusing to, to explain because there's multiple timelines. And in the novel itself, Kamel Dawood, 
he also talks about the stranger. Um, and uh, there's the timeline of when he was a child and he looked up to his brother Musa, and then, then it was, uh, and then it starts again when Musa was killed. And that's when time stops for his mother. So his whole life, they try to investigate and find out what happens to Musa and how did he die. Eventually, towards the end, he was given this book by a French woman, um, The Stranger, and he ends up reading it in the novel. And that's how he found out how Musa died. So uh, it, in, the, in the middle of the novel, um, the main character Harun was faced, was put in a similar situation as the main character in uh, The Stranger. So it was a week or two weeks after the Algerian revolution. Um, and I can't remember correctly, but I, either Algeria gained independence or was about to. So this French man enters his house and it was him and his mother and he decides to kill this Frenchman. So I'm gonna read the quote from the novel. I squeezed the trigger and fired twice, two bullets, one in the belly and the other in the neck. That makes it all seven, that makes it seven all told, I thought at once, absurdly. But the first five, the ones that killed Musa had been fired 20 years earlier. So here, here you can see how there's a story within a story about a story and both identities become enmeshed in one. Um, and he also, uh, even though he only fired twice, he calculated the bullets that happened 20 years ago um, in The Stranger, which is when Musa was killed, his brother. Uh, both novels start similarly yet differently. The Stranger, uh, the first line of The Stranger actually is one of the most famous lines in literature. Um, Marceau, starts the, Marceau starts the novel by saying, Maman died today or yesterday maybe, I don't know. Um, you can see how apathetic he is and how detached he is to his mom's death. He doesn't even know when she died or how she died. Um, so that tells you, that gives you an idea about the character. In comparison to Harun in the Marcel investigation, um, he says, Mama's still alive today. She doesn't say anything now, but there are many tales she could tell. So you can see that they start similarly yet differently in a sense that even though Harun's mother is still alive, she does not have a voice. And she lost her voice the day Musa was killed. And Musa was killed in The Stranger 20 years ago. Towards the end uh, in the novel, um, Harun uh, starts talking to this French student. Um, and that's when you kind of get an idea of why Kamal Dawood thought it was important to retell the story and give a name to the mute Arab victim. So I'm going to read the quote. Um, everything was there except the essential thing, Musa's name, nowhere to be found. I counted and recounted. The word Arab appeared 25 times, but no name, not for any of us, nothing at all, my friend. Only salt and dazzle and some reflections on the condition of a man charged with a divine mission. Marceau's book didn't teach me anything about Musa, except the fact that he had no name, not even at the last moment of his life. So here you can see that he again mentions that Musa his brother was never given a name in, this, in the stranger's novel. Um, and how he found out was towards the end, he was about to leave Algeria and he meets this French woman and she gives him this novel and he starts reading it. And then he started to um, connect the pieces and he realized that this Arab that was mentioned 25 times uh, was never given a name was actually his brother Musa. He ends by saying, mama is still alive today, but what's the point? That's pretty much it. These are articles that I read that I thought were very interesting. And the third one actually has translated snippets um, from Kamil Dawood's um, column in the newspaper that I mentioned earlier. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.